let's see how good photorealism is on ideogram. So I created a few images. This was the first one that references a photo or a photograph. And I had a basic prompt, but I turned prompt magic on and um, or magic prompt. And my basic prompt here was a real life photo of the Great Wall of China. And as you could see, kind of created different photos here. Um, probably on this screen recorder, it looks real life. Uh, but if you guys saw this image exactly, the closer it is the more, I guess you could say fake it looks. So from the distance, you can kind of, it looks kind of real, but from close up, it looks a little fake. I wanted to see if I can create some realistic type of photos for Adobe Stock, Vect Easy, different websites like that, um, and see if I could just kind of try things. I even tried some uh, face portraits. So this was a prompt of a real human face. Uh, office setting portrait and some of them are okay like this one is it's okay but it's not real obviously this one doesn't look real this one obviously doesn't look real um, but this one I would say looks the realest in fact this is actually very very close to something that looks completely real if somebody showed me a photo of this in real life I would not have guessed this was made by AI um, so I think it just depends on the circumstance of the image now if you notice here, when I click on this image, the magic prompt is not on, and this one is on. So, could be that if I take the prompt and turn magic prompt off, I might get better results. So, let's go ahead and try this first of all. Um, and let me go over here to magic prompt, turn it off, hit generate. And once again, uh, some people might be wondering, why would I want images that look like photographs? It's... Uh, just something cool I like to upload to Adobe Stock, VecDeasy, and other websites. And, you know, sometimes I get messages of people asking, like, what sells better? It it really just depends on the market. It depends on the niche. It's there's not always so black and white. It depends on what's needed, um, what a company's looking for, and what they'll download. Uh, so it's, you know, I always say try to upload as much as you can of everything, really. And you guys know my 10,000 rules, so you want to upload as much as you can. Don't quit until you reach 10,000 uploads so that you could really feel the the grunt of the work and you'll get daily sales on a daily basis. Um, so you'll not, you'll not get one or two sales or one or three sales. It's really downloads. Downloads is the proper word. You'll get more than one download a day. Uh, and overall, it's really easy to do. So, I mean, you look at this image. This image looks real life to me. Let's see something like this. This looks pretty good as well. This one looks a little off, and I think maybe it's because of the eye. I don't know. Maybe because I was looking at this one prior to. Uh, but this one looks really good as well. But once again, the eye is what makes it a little bit off. But this is like 99% good. This is 99% good as well. Um, this one is, I'd give it like 95%. And this one is probably the worst, but it's still really good. Uh, so it's not like I could say much, you know, anything negative here. Um, speaking of like making money, downloads, things like that. Uh, when I upload two different stock photography websites, I think of who the ideal customer for the stock photography websites are. And usually it's media, media companies. Usually it's, you know, businesses like that. So uh, if you want more guides, more information on stock photography, I'll leave some links in the in the description on how you can make money with it and even some videos, some free videos on this YouTube. Um, but I think of, you know, what will companies look for? What will people search for? Because I want to get multiple downloads, like I said, on a daily basis. And sometimes I go after certain niches. I don't always do market research. I know people get hung up on that. Like I said, with stock photography, I want to upload as much as I can. So um, let's just try doing something a little different. So I, here we have, we clearly know that it works with uh, face portraits, but um, once again, I kept the magic prompt off here. When, as soon as I turn it on, it kind of shifts how things look, uh, because if I once again go to the profile, you could see prompt magic is uh, magic prompt is on here, 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 and even here, which these aren't desirable results in my opinion. Um, these are okay. I mean, I could try something like this. Um, so I could take, for example, this prompt, we could test it. Uh, here I put an emphasis on photorealism, but you could see even here is not, it's not fully there. 
but then again you have magic prompt on so let's test this prompt as well um, and let's keep magic prompt off now that you know what it looks like with it on we'll hit generate and we'll see uh, and while we're waiting uh, for those who are curious I'm released a video quite recently about how much you can make per download and what can you can expect when you upload kind of images like this to stock photography sites so I'll leave that link in the description as well um, but let's see here also my quality settings let's see the quality settings here we have um, uh, did I did I add a yeah rendering is quality so uh, you know this is kind of an improvement I added photorealism you could tell this does not look real it almost looks plastic in a way um, so you know it's it's uh, not ideal for sure an image like that let's go to back to my profile here and I want to show you my private uh, creations this is these are the ones that I really like so this image here looks the realest to me um, it looks like an apple obviously with some background that's blurred uh, and I could take this right and this is with prompt magic on so I mean you know does it look decent it actually does look pretty good these are images I would upload I wouldn't be opposed to uploading something like this but let's go here instead of photograph of an apple let's try something a little bit different let's try a pineapple this is a little bit more difficult because you guys know the shape of a pineapple those little prong kind of things on each each uh you know part of the pineapple there's a lot of it we'll just shift here the aspect ratio as soon as you shift the aspect ratio it changes how the actual image will look so Let's give that a shot, and we kept pr magic prompt off here. Uh, right after this, I'll create another generation with it on, and just just to see how it looks. Uh, but let's see here what we got for these uh, photos. And mind you, the quality is still on the highest. But um, yeah, these are pretty good as well. You know, these are pretty good. Um, of course, if somebody really tried to nitpick, they could find them. But overall, these are pretty good. Now, for those who are curious, I will take these images, download them, upscale them, and then upload them right into uh, the whatever site I'm going to use. But I think overall, this did pretty good. In fact, if I was to compare this to Leonardo AI, Leonardo AI, I tried something very similar to this prompt. They messed up these little parts on the pineapple here. They look pretty good, so it works. Uh, let's try something a little bit different. So let's type in photograph of a uh, mansion. Uh, actually, let's type in home kitchen table. And then we'll type in here farm style table. Let's see if it actually creates some of that. Actually, before I do that, yeah, hold on. Let's Let's generate that. Why not? Let's generate prompt magic off. I know I was going to do the pineapple thing again. We'll turn that on in just a second because I forgot about that. But um, like I said, this is testing photorealism uh, because, you know, I just get curious as how it will compare to other softwares. And I always want to know, like, okay, this software is good at this. This software is good at that. And I go to those certain softwares to create. Yeah, these are all good photos. You know, I would say these are, these are good photos for sure. Uh, you can kind of see how they look. They're not the most detailed but they are pretty good, uh, for sure. Uh, there are some, you know, little errors. Like, I don't know what that orange thing is or that yellow thing in the background. Um, but overall, yeah, the details are pretty good. So let's go back to that uh, pineapple. Let's click on this and let's go ahead and hit retry. But let's turn magic on and let's see if it makes a difference. I do think it will make a difference, you know, as you saw with those portraits. Uh, it looked better with it off. So as a general rule, if this doesn't look better, um, keep the magic function off if you're going to use photorealism or you want like a photograph type of look with a certain camera. Uh, but, you know, these actually don't look bad. You know, I would say that. Like this image looks really good. I'd probably use this one before I use any others. This I would not not use. This apple looks deformed a little bit. It would have been perfect, but it does look a little deformed, and there's like this yellow thing here. Um, this image, it does look a little fake, because the bottom here is like a little too round, uh, but it doesn't look bad. And this one here, 
just a little too colorful. I wouldn't want it to get rejected for low quality. So I would go with something like this. This is a lot more detailed, uh, you know, and it looks really well. So th this is this is the one I would go with if I was downloading it. But here you guys see the difference between the magic prompt for photorealism. Is it good? Is it not good? Are you guys going to use it? I think I will use it for sure. Uh, you know, I'll max out my credits that I have on this account. I, I paid for a... Uh, premium account on this um but then again I pay, I pay for a lot of different software so don't take that as a recommendation obviously do what you want go with what you want use it how you want but uh photorealism it is handled i would say pretty good overall for ideogram i would give it an 8 out of 10 all right guys you guys let me know your rating let me know your opinions uh thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you guys soon all right peace out bye